here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess? One of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Ready for the fire, are ya? Let's the faithful recognize one another quick sharp. That way nobody'll mess with ya. And it's charged with magic. Ordinary slobs can't see it. Only us that follow the absolute. You ready? Brace yourself. This'll sting. Hold still. As pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She, too, carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man, one of the chosen. The vision dissolves away. You stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Her faith floods into you, a tide of shuddering ecstasy. Her tadpole nestles within that mania, secure, hidden. I feel you in there, digging around. Works both ways. And I saw some weird shadows swimming around in your head just now. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Of course. Don't want this rabble interfering with true soul business. Let's go to my chapel. Oi! Priestess! We want house. the mark! Why yeah. do they think they're talking to I'm the going good enough for the absolute! You wager this absolute's going to get chatty with us. Waiting around. Ready to clear your head. Smart. All you need to do is open yourself to the absolute. And I'll do the rest. Don't want anyone peeping on private matters. So. There we go. Secret and safe. Well, secret. Psionic feelers creep across your mind like a pickpocket's fingers seeking flaws in fabric. Sifting deeper, she sees the mind flare holding a wriggling tadpole to your eye. And then the vision lurches. And you are looking through her eyes as a tadpole squirms into her skull. Helps! We need to fish that thing out before it eats any important parts of your brain. Don't you worry. I've got everything I need to fix you. Might get a bit messy, though. You won't regret this. Being a true soul, you know the Absolute don't like to touch nothing unclean. So drink this. It'll purify ya.
sweet dreams. I'll see your rugly mug on the other side. Wakey, wakey. Don't bother struggling. You ain't going nowhere. The Absolute wants to know all about that critter in your head. So start talking. Liar! We've both seen the monster that put it there and I know what happens next. Stop trying to confuse me. You're a liar. Everything's clear since the Absolute chose me. You're the one that's broken. Do you even know who you are anymore? Maybe that's what the creature wants you to think. It's gonna start eating your flesh too, changing you. And eventually your skull will split and you'll cough up a mess of tentacles. You might have put up a fight in another life, freak. But not in this one. Not likely. You're forgetting one thing. I've got the absolute to protect me. But you, you're on your own. Nothing more than a skin suit for that monster inside you. You're gonna be my new pet. A ferocious squiddy. All for myself. You test the weight of the chains, looking for weak points. Open your papers, freak. It's time. You should be sprouting tentacles by now. But you're still the same kind of ugly you always was. Disappointing not to have my own squiddy. But your giblets will make for a tasty supper. Sorry. I may have left that a little late. No lasting damage, I hope. Carilla Heartflame. At your service. You made quite an impression on my master. He sends his regards. The Honorable Raphael. He's terribly excited about you and your con... At this point, you're more interesting alive than dead. So here I am, your savior in times of need. <clears throat> Be a little more careful. That skin's valuable, and we won't always be watching.